hello guys so this is the continuations of retry listener and i will show you some more concepts which uh, i thought it is useful information to uh, provide so let's say what happens is when you uh, look at the retry when retry happens it will retry your script so now do one thing uh, anyway this script is, is passing always in class b we have kept the session okay so please watch this first retry video then only you watch this because all the concepts I covered in my first video. So here we will do one thing. We will uh, put one global variable here. Just, uh, let's say I will just put int i is equal to let's say I will put 1. And then I will write here if i is equal to is equal to 2 then pass this then just write true okay so when a retry happens the first time it will come here and it will be false so first time and then do one thing here in outside you make i plus plus so first time when retry will uh, I mean first time when a script will execute it will fail okay then just write here 3 then a retry will happen in the retry again it will fail but your i will increase i value will increase because you have i plus plus and third retry this will pass okay third retry this will pass same logic we will write in the class c also like just to show you in actual time how it will pass okay because in actual time when your selenium script will run three four times uh, let's say first time it failed because of some network issue second time retry happened second time also failed because of some server was down third time retry happened and your script is passed so the same thing i'm trying to replicate here now uh, i will go to this regression suit the suit which we have created in the previous video and I will do a right click run as test ng suit so we should see now first failure for C, uh, B and C class and then for B and C class we should see, we should, uh, see the pass report also ok so let it run yeah so okay go here so again failed and again you know the skip i mean 3d try happened and retry also got failed so let me go here let me do one thing if i is equal to is equal to 3 so first time when it came uh, i was okay at the same time let me print the i value so that we'll understand what is the i value is getting printed so print the i value like whether the i value is getting incremented or not because i'm not sure what is happening with the i value and how you know it is getting increased so run this like whether only this test is getting called every time with the new session so okay we can see that if i two three okay so i is getting called actually if you look at i 2 3 and i became 4 i became 4 so come here again so a retry happened so first three uh, retry happened okay 1 2 3 so three times retry happened and then uh, okay so for the first test case i mean this is the class c we have for in the class b i kept so class b 1 then it became 2 then it became 3 so after 3 it should pass why it didn't pass when it is 3 assert dot assert true is equal to okay so we are passing it but we are not breaking it okay so we have to break also i think uh, the script got pass right so we can put this into the else conditions so what is happening is your script is passing but the problem is after if what you have is you have a a sort false so it is going there okay now it will work fine again you go to uh, b class also 
and do the same thing you don't keep outside because though it is passing again it is it was going down and it was we had a short dot a short falls and it was failing now we have if else conditions right so based on conditions it should work now we can see that the actual report and that's how you know retry will help you uh, to get 90% accuracy in your automations awesome it worked you can see that see first test as usual passed look at the second test see pass happened only two failure i mean two skip again pass happened and two skip so how this result came result came we can understand by uh, looking the email report so actually your test got passed in the retry okay uh, open with web browser so try to understand here what happened is first test was always pass okay class a in class b two test skipped so what happens in the retry when failure happens we say it as a skipped okay and uh, then pass happened it got passed again what happened in third test class c two skipped and one got passed so what happens first failure happened okay and then two got passed and how this is passing if you go to the class b if i is equal to is equal to 3 okay make it true else you fail this okay same thing we are doing that in this case also if 3 make it true else you make it false okay so we are making it false now go here and you see failure for first time failure for second time two time your script failed and then third time got pass again failure first time and you can see that the test login you are seeing that the test login because i have given the common name so two times first is failing now if you really uh, want to understand in the better way what you can do is you can go to the this class b instead of test login you put test login b okay and uh, you go to class c and you put test login c and then you go to class a here anyways retry will not happen put a now you run this you will get a proper report run as test ng and look at the output now i just maximized see look look at here go to the console better try to understand see test b failure happened first time when i was one failure happened then again test b failure second time third time pass third time no failure got pass so for pass we are not printing the log again for test login c first time failure happened second time also failure happened then third time pass but how do you get in the test ng report it will tell you the skip but actually when you go into the exception you can see that uh, it was expected true but found was false okay here also second time also you can see that expected true found was false here also you can see that expected true found was false so though it is a skip right but actually it is a failure why because of this assertion failure so that's how you know retry will help you now sometimes what happens is some of the scripts even though the retry will happen it will not pass okay let's say take a take this example okay I remove this from class c remove this remove this one also now just go and run this so now we can see that the failure also so run as test ng look at the console log again see here now you can see that how failure happens so you know how this failure will be decided when uh, for test b two times failure happened third time it got pass but for this guy uh, for test c retry happened three times you guys can see that okay uh, for first time test c failure first time failure second time and failure third time three time happened 
even after three time it was a failure only so your final report will tell you failure first time failure remaining three got skipped but here pass in the third trial two time it is a skip because of assertion error so that's how you know retry uh, works in the real time and with this i covered the all the concepts of retry even i have i have shown you how retry works through the test ng dot xml configurations now in next video i will cover some other concepts of framework thank you guys thank you for watching this